stop the gun, okay? I, I have to get it. Frisco Jones. Hey, Frisco, sorry to bother you at home, but uh, can't get in touch with Robert. The phones are down at his place. What's up? Well, it concerns those bogus $20 bills, you know, the ones that have the uh, cross-eyed Jackson on them? One of them turned up in New Orleans. Did they pick anybody up on it? Well, the guy that passed it is a stage manager at one of the theaters down there. The local authorities, they figured he didn't know the bill was bogus, though. Listen, um, I think you ought to get down here on this. Uh, listen, something's come up. Uh, <clears throat> I I'll be a little while. How long? How long? You can leave if you want to. At least an hour. Just a little bit later. Mm -mm. No, I have got to get to headquarters. Then I'll go with you. No, not a chance. But I want to go with you. I can't believe you joined the police department again. It's because of you that I'm helping Robert. If it wasn't for your involvement, none of this would have been happening. And I don't want you involved in this. Well, if it's the counterfeiting case, it's all the more reason for me to be involved. I mean, I'm the one who stole the cameo from Jimmy's pocket in Atlantic City. If something comes up, then I could be there to maybe help you out. Wrong. Because you're involved in this whole thing, that is all the more reason for you to stay here at home. Now, maybe Jimmy O'Hurley, he's involved in this. Maybe he isn't. The point is, is that there's been one murder ready, and somebody took a shot at Robert. Now, I want you as far away from this as possible. job to do and I have a responsibility to the Port Charles Police Department that's a hell of a lot of money just ran a boat for the afternoon here's your money Where's the boat? Excuse me, who was that guy you were just talking to? Young fellow's got more money than brains. He just paid me a fortune to take my boat over to Spoon Island. Spoon Island? He must be going to Windermere. Did he say why he needed to go there? He didn't say, and I didn't ask. I wouldn't have rented to him at all, except it's, well, it's insured. Now, this New Orleans bill was definitely run off the same plate as this other one. Great. So we got two bogus $20 bills that turn up 1,500 miles apart. Now, that's not a heck of a lot to go on. And unless this storm gets upgraded to a hurricane, we have got nothing in common with New Orleans. Maybe we do. Jimmy O'Hurley. How does he fit in? He was in New Orleans. He was there for Catherine Delafield's concert. All right, that's not a bad connection. Why don't we bring him in? It's circumstantial. We can't link him to that bill. We don't have any solid evidence to bring him in on. Yeah, you're right. You know, the character was about as cool as a cucumber when we had him in here questioning him about that cameo that Felicia lifted off him. Listen, as a favor to me, I'd appreciate it if we didn't link Felicia to any of this. I don't want her involved in this investigation at all, okay? I'll tell you... 
You gotta hurry. Police? I just saw him. He's getting on a boat and he's going to Windermere. What are you doing here? Why would here? you go to Windermere in this weather without a good reason? I thought I told you to Where? stay home. Wait a minute. Who is going out on the water? Jimmy. Jimmy O'Hurley. He rented a boat and he's going after Spoon now, Island. Now, wait a minute. Wait a second, Felicia. You're telling me that you saw Jimmy O'Hurley get on a boat and head for Windermere. Well, yeah, he was wearing a slicker and it had a hood, but I couldn't really see his face because it was covered with it. You couldn't see his face? Well, no, but I could see his hair and it was definitely blonde. What kind of boat did he get on? Well, I, I don't really know what the boat was, but I did talk to the man who rented him the boat and he said that he was going to go... So, in other words, it. you didn't actually see his face and you didn't actually see him get on a boat, right? Well... So, you're sticking your nose into an investigation that I told you to stay out of, right? No, it happened by accident. I saw the whole thing by accident. So you expect me to get on a boat now and head out to Windermere because I'm supposed to be suspicious that Jimmy is out there doing something illegal. Mm, you're right. You know, I'm sorry. I was just being silly. I... I don't know. I, You know me, I just sort of run out and do things whenever I want. Oh, look at my hair. I, I really should go home and just dry it. Hang out with Bobby and Tony. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I was just feeling guilty about the cameo. It probably wasn't Jimmy after all. I just wanted to help out with this Robert thing. Good luck. She certainly has changed since you two got back together again. I don't think I ever remember Felicia giving in quite that easily. She gave in way too easily. I hope it wasn't worth much. No lights. Figures. so I have to go after him. You know, sometimes I could just wring your neck. You're not going after him. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Come over here. Well, stop it. Let go of me. Shh. What are you going to do? I'm putting right here. Because if a Harley, he happens to be on this island, and he happens to be involved in a murder, I want you someplace where I can find you. Oh, so you're starting to believe me now. Well, don't count on it. But I almost drowned getting out here, so I might as well look around while I'm here. Now, take this. Well, well what are you going to use? Magic words, because all I'm going to find are ghosts. Oh, be careful. Don't shoot anybody. Right. 
especially me. Nothing upstairs, not that I expected to find anything. Briscoe and I are at Windermere. Briscoe's trying to catch Jimmy up here, what? and we need help. Wait, wait, Felicia, I'm sorry. Could you... Hello? 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 What's all that about? Uh, uh, it was Felicia. It was a real bad connection. Um, yeah, it was the storm. Probably playing I, with the phone. No, I think it was more to it than that. I mean, she was... 
She really sounded like she was in trouble. She said that Frisco is at Windermere and, and, that, and that he said he was being trapped and that he's after Jimmy. Jimmy? Do you know what this is about? No, but I'm going to find out. 